Well, I think in terms of um, interesting museum policies or let's say broad based or accessible museum policies, I, I certainly would have to go with the UK as still being very much the center um, of uh, progressive activities in the sector. The decisions uh, going back a couple of decades now to reopen the museums for free, the national museums, really sets a new direction because an institution can come to rely on ticket revenue as a primary reason for being. That's not necessarily the case. It's a, it's a means of access. In most uh, Western contemporary contexts, the museum's costs are not covered at all uh, by uh, ticket sales. In some cases, it can be a very small small percentage of overall revenue and most museums are subsidized by governments or foundations or institutions of one kind or another. So uh, just the accessibility function of that, that broad policy of free access to the national museums in the UK is a, is a big thing and it gives them a lot more opportunity, the institutions to be entrepreneurial in terms of how they raise revenue and uh, uh, our company helps organizations with that. And along with um, uh, that one example, there's another example where uh, they're trying to be a little transformational and that is uh, the UAE. Um, as you know, uh, on November the 11th, the Louvre Abu Dhabi will be opening uh, to the public. That's been announced now and confirmed. It's been 10 years in the making since it was announced uh, uh, back in 2007. And uh, so with the Louvre Abu Dhabi on the one hand and uh, uh, in the neighboring Emirate of Dubai on the other hand, um, they're building, let's call them community-based museums. So you have the, the high-profile model with the Louvre Abu Dhabi in, in one emirate, and right next door in Dubai you have things that are very much community-driven. Uh, there's a project there called the Shindiga Museum, which will have 20 separate pavilions, all with different themes, and they're all under development right now. It's been contracted, the, the designs are underway, and soon the actual physical construction will be will be completed. The first pavilion is open now and they'll be opening over the next five years up to 17 of them. So it's very interesting. 